In May 1604, Robert Catesby and his associates met in the upstairs room of a London drinking house. There, Catesby outlined to them his plans for the most daring terrorist attempt this country has ever seen. But what was it that had brought the five men together? What had driven them to devise such a devastating atrocity? Looking at the gunpowder plot and the issues that created it, we should go back at least 30 to 35 years to about a dozen years into Queen Elizabeth's reign when the Pope excommunicated her and called upon all loyal Catholics to depose her. And it was also said in certain circles to assassinate her. And what this did was it politicised religion in England. Which one of us has not lost money? Fox, you have bled for your faith. The restrictions placed on Catholics affected almost every element of their lives. To be a Catholic at this time was to endure severe and increasing persecution. They could not attend mass there in service. There couldn't be a mass. The mass was illegal. They couldn't be married by a Catholic priest. They couldn't have their babies baptized. They had to go to the Protestant church on Sunday. That was the law of the land. They had to make a showing. They had to be married in a Protestant church. And they had to have their children educated in the Protestant religion of the country. The body of Christ. The law enforcing these conditions was called the Act of Uniformity, which prohibited the Catholic faith in England. The plotters had grown up in its shadow. They, and all Catholics who refused to abide by the Protestant laws, were known as recusants. To be a recusant was simply to refuse to go to church, because the Latin verb recusare means to refuse. Uh, and that's a really disruptive act in the 16th century. What you're doing is fracturing society. It's not just a private act to not turn up at church. You are tearing society apart, and the government could not tolerate that. And recusants had to pay fines every time they failed to attend Sunday service. Amen. And of course, as the paranoia about Catholics increased, those fines became steeper and steeper. But in the eyes of the government, an even greater threat to the state was posed by a new order of radical Catholic priests called the Jesuits. English Jesuits, trained in Europe and smuggled home in secret, were now operating illicitly across the country in an effort to keep the Catholic faith alive. The Jesuits were the symbol of everything that was powerful and sinister about Roman Catholicism. That was, in a sense, unfair, because the society had started as a way of evangelizing Europe, of bringing the good news to Europe. But very quickly, it acquired the edge of attacking Protestants. And from the outside, it would look like a terrorist organization such as Al-Qaeda, which, of course, simply means network. The Jesuits were a network. So uh, to be a Protestant and look at this would be a very scary experience. 